Today is our 27th wedding anniversary and we are taking a flight up to Squamish area. What's the, the lake? Lake Lovely Water. Lake Lovely Water? Yeah, lovely. lovely Water. Ah. Yeah, romantic. Very romantic. We picked the right spot. Right, unfortunately, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but the smoke from the fires uh, east of here are blowing right into Vancouver. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a smoky ride there but they have like a camera near the lake that's showing it's kind of clear there but we still want to do the flight so so there's the city what it looks like right now this is our beautiful plane carol gets the front seat can carol sit in the front seat is that all right or yeah. all right carol's first time in the front seat of a float plane Don't press the red button. <laughs> I get the whole seat. Make sure your uh, life vests and seat belts are around your waist. Oh, I can't sit in the middle, eh? Uh, unfortunately not. But, okay. Uh, what side would you like me to sit on? You can easily look out both windows. Okay. Um, just from both sides. Uh, either either one doesn't matter. Okay.
you think? It was so cool. I'm just sitting here and there's a glacier just above us. Yeah. Beautiful landing, one of the smoothest smooth. landings I've yeah. ever experienced in really, a float plane. Really smooth. It's like you could barely tell that we're actually touched down. I had to keep yeah. looking out the window to see if we were actually on the water. It's great. Got a waterfall. All right. Oh, by the way, everybody, that's Sean. <laughs> Want me to help push? Yeah, pretty good. That's it. Uh, it's all right. Okay. Well, like Sean said, it's not as smoky here. Pretty nice here, eh? Yeah. Oh, it is cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say you can go swimming here, but I don't know, man. You you wouldn't go for very long. No, I'd be a get in and get out. Get so. out. That'd be impressive, that's for sure. So got a picnic table, a rock picnic table. We've got the lunch all set. So Sean said he used to come here all the time with his fly rod and catch trout. So there is plenty of fish in this beautiful glacier lake. Unbelievable people. Looks like a beef. I don't know, but don't look at this one. No, that's not fair. That's, that'd be like a coyote or a wolf maybe? Oh, maybe? Ooh, wolf or uh... Yeah, because nobody would bring their dog up here. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, that's... Came down for a quick drink. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like. Dog, maybe, I don't know. No, that looks like a dog kind of print there. Yeah, maybe it is just a dog. But... Yeah. All right, so we we got the uh, the lunch deal here, and uh, you get to choose from multiple items. Wow. I can't remember what I choose you chose. or chose. Yeah. I think that's part of mine. Sandwich. They even have their own water. <laughs> you guys get their water from here, right? <laughs> Fresh glacier water. Ah, right oh, there. Yeah, That's the wrap. Oh, right. oh, and the cookies, a little salad. So a nice big cookie. Mm -hmm. All right. Urban fair. Okay. Hey, there you go. They give us some drinks. Yeah. What's in this thing? Oh, salt, pepper, pepper, pepper cutlery. cutlery. Beautiful little salad. Some balsamic, I'm guessing. Salad dressing. <laughs> nice. nice thick roast beef sandwich right by a glacier. What'd you get drink wise? Lemonada. Mm. I never had one. That's good. Mm. almost up and uh, Carol just finished walking up this path and apparently she saw some really cool stuff. I was just talking with the pilot about uh, he has a, an Osmo gimbal thing so he was showing me that and we we're talking about flying and movies and and uh, 
Kale just went on a little adventure down here. One of the cool things over here is for people that hike up here and camp, uh, there's a bear cache. So this is uh, where they put their food. So I guess there's a couple lock systems. They, they put their food and stuff in there. And then if the bears do come, they won't go for their food. So what'd you think, hon? Awesome. Was it worth it? Oh yeah. Good. We made a good decision today. Oh, yes, we did. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, we, again, I'm so glad uh, Sean talked us into it because we were thinking that this was just going to be all smoke, and luckily one of his buddies who was flying today sent him a picture from this area, and uh, it looked like that. So look at the beauty of it. And again, we went with the uh, Sea Air. All right. Carol's letting me sit in the front seat, Sean. You bet. <laughs> oh, don't bring any bugs in. There. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Yeah. Shoot that. We can get rid of them on our taxi out. If the window's open. Yeah, that's right. Happy we went. Yes. I'm very happy. It was a bit. Thank you. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it, Sean. It's so awesome. Yeah, had a great time. So glad we went. Yeah, we made the right decision. What's your channel? Once again, it, it was, was awesome. awesome, fantastic decision. I was literally going to cancel because when I looking at that and I'm like, I won't be able to see the mountains when we're up there, but he was awesome on the way back. 
I'm not sure what what elevation we were when we went there, but it was pretty clear, even though whatever we're elevated. But on the way back, coming this way, uh, he was down to uh, we were down to a thousand feet, which yeah. was kind of cool. I like flying low. Yeah, that was neat to be yeah. able to see. So. Anyway, had a great time. Highly recommend. It. Highly recommend it. Sea air. Sea air. Get Sean because Sean was amazing and uh do the lunch thing because you get to s walk around yeah, and stuff stay there for a whole hour yeah a whole hour just enjoy it like we did yeah all right guys carol and i are on our walk after a little bit of a rest back at the hotel but we are off to gotham steakhouse it was recommended by carol's sister brother-in-law we were here like a couple weeks ago and they said you gotta go to Gotham so we're gonna have our 27th wedding anniversary celebration there we're uh, scheduled for six o'clock all right guys I got a Pilsner I believe he said it was a Pilsner from Squamish uh, so there's my first beer of the evening they also give you a iPad to order your wine and stuff from but then they also have this paper menu and the appetizers are to die for but I am definitely going to be doing this jumbo shrimp cocktail $27.25 but there's a ton of other amazing appetizers that I would love to try over time then I would love to come back guys and do an amazing food tour and do this deluxe seafood tower possibly with another youtuber or two apparently it's good enough or there's so much food in this thing it's four hundred dollars for the deluxe seafood tower and if that price doesn't scare you enough let's check out these entrees long bone in rib steak 48 ounce 205 dollars the porterhouse looks wonderful and I have eaten a porterhouse by myself so I actually went for the bone-in rib steak 20 ounce but I think I'm gonna have to help Carol out with her roasted stuffed half chicken so I'm not sure exactly what the weight of a half chicken is depending on I guess where they got a choose so we got uh, you can do half orders of these extras uh, and I think we went with like a half order of asparagus, half order of mushrooms, a baked potato, and there was one other thing I can't remember off the top of my head what we got, but uh, we'll show you when it comes to the table. Are you ready to indulge? Oh, yeah. I am too. All right, guys, sorry about the lighting in here. It's not that great, but I ordered this beautiful shrimp cocktail. And Carol, you gotta have salad. Croutons. These are great croutons. Oh, <laughs> we got the croutons. <laughs> Check that out. Gonna put those on Carol's salad. We got some bacon bits, some modified Caesar salad. Yummy. There is my 20 ounce rib steak. If you ever have the chance, grab yourself a rib steak because it is beautiful. Over here we have a fully loaded half potato. Carol has the other half over there. I grabbed myself a very nice red wine. On the side we got some asparagus, snap peas, and some mushrooms. I'll be eating all those. Carol hates that. And Carol's got like a whole half pig here. No, oh, that's chicken. a chicken. It's a stuffed chicken. Yeah, I haven't got to the stuffed part yet. But... You'll get there eventually. Ooh, 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 goodness oh my goodness, me. I got that on camera. <laughs> so the reason I only went with a 20 ounce is because I think I'm going to have to help Carol with that half chicken food. You might that not, is... it's really oh, good. Oh my goodness, forget it. Really Here is our dessert. Happy anniversary thing. And then Carol got what? Sorbet. Sorbet. Three different kinds of sorbet. Yep. It says happy anniversary on it as well. Very, very well done. Yeah. So if you're here for an anniversary, let them know and they'll plaster your name all over it like an <laughs> advertisement. Of course, I decided to go for one more dark and stormy. If you've never had a dark and stormy, check it out. 
back off on it. All right, guys, there ends our anniversary day. And a few of you actually did mention Gotham. You gotta eat at Gotham. And uh, Carol's sister and brother-in-law ate here like a few weeks ago and uh, had a great time. So the steak was amazing, which it was. Dudes and dudettes, if you have the means, please visit Gotham. It's right there. And have the, I think I did the 20 ounce, because I think there's the, the smallest steak that had was a 20 ounce which is crazy because it was a lot of food plus all the sides definitely if you love mushrooms do the little mushrooms the asparagus you don't need to do a potato that was a, that was a little bit of an overkill on that spot and then we did these amazing um, desserts if you guys are interested in ever celebrating a special occasion like your 27th wedding anniversary come to Gotham all right guys thanks for watching